companies. I mean, you know, you, you were really trying to throw off my timing. I, I, I ignored you. I did well with this, the whole entire rest of the crowd. And you didn't, you didn't take your defeat. You just, <laughs> like, you refuse. It's like trying to ignore a, a child with a temper tantrum. Was this audience member Donald J. Trump? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> it's like, a, it's one thing to have a temp, temper tantrum, and it's another thing to, like, start throwing shit out the window or right. breaking things. Right? I look over, and he's, he, he's just like, I don't know what's happening at first. I go, hey, what's up, man? He's like, I'm watching a video. <laughs> I'm like, oh. He goes, yeah, it's Michael Jordan, right? And I just had enough because it, it was too much work. The, 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 what I was getting that wasn't work to work. After. Right. Now, this is where I messed up, and I'll admit I, I got, let anger get the most of me because I said, ah, fuck this. And I just dropped. I said, good night. Fuck this. And I dropped the mic. The host comes running up. What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And I said, uh, and this is where I messed up. I said, man, fuck all these people, right? Something like that. Fuck all y'all, right? Something like that. Is that your closer? Or? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I did it before, right? <laughs> so it's my go-to. Right? <laughs> Good night, everybody. Fuck you all. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I really didn't mean fuck everybody, but I just meant, like, fuck the show. Like, you know, I was, I was still appreciative of the people that were supportive. Right. I'm walking out, you know, whatever. I, I, just, I just didn't want to tap dance for this table anymore because it, it felt like, you know, if you if you, uh, if you so badly don't want me to perform, and it was there was some other there was some elements of race. There were um, some Latin guys. It just felt like a weird vibe. It just mm-hmm. felt like there was something else going on. And so while I'm working out, some guy just rushes me and pushes me in the back, right? And like the story after was like I got punched. I didn't get punched, but he did push me. And but it wasn't those guys. It was the guy who was laughing who liked me, but. Until he thought you turned on him. Right. And he was like, fuck me. No, fuck you. And it oh, turns boy. out he put the show together. And it was like oh. a lot of his friends and all of that. And, um, and he, he, he grabbed me and he was he, and, and I pushed him back. And like I like I just pushed him against the wall and I slammed him against the wall. And then they separated us. And he he was trying to get at me. And he, he ended up knocking his wife down. She was oh, pregnant. Jesus. Oh, my he God. Like, like, I don't think he meant to hit her, but I guess she was she tried to grab him, and he just, get off me. And she, she fell down. Oh. She's pregnant. And my buddy was with me. He was like, it's not worth it, Dwayne. Let's get out of here. Because I was like, I was ready to go. Right. It was just a crazy thing. And then it became like some guy punched Dwayne, which I feel like. <laughs> some pregnant lady punched Dwayne. Right, right. <laughs> that part of it felt like it was a bit like. People wanted that to be the story, you know, right. what I mean? yeah, to fit the narrative. Yeah, but it well, really... it's, it's like the, uh, in Fast Times at Ridgemont right, right. High. Yeah, do you hear that guy pulled a gun on Mister Hand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just called him a yeah. dick. And I, I'm not above being punched, but at the same time, <laughs> like I am from Brooklyn, so if he had punched me, it would have went a whole You're different right. way. Like it, we'd still be, we would that still be fighting. The end of the story. <laughs> but he just pushed me, and you know, it was like I don't even some Italian restaurant. I think that guy was Armenian, and so it just made me think like. All right, I did a, a cost analysis. <laughs> like, I can't win. Like, the the win would be to leave. Mm-hmm, you know, right. I, if I if, if the fight doesn't matter if I win or lose. Even if I win, I lose. So, you know, I I, I shouldn't have said fuck you to everybody. I'll, I'll take that as a lesson, it's a teaching and just, moment, sure. and just get out of there. And that's what I did. And um, and and I guess that guy apologized to to the guy who's running the show later. The guy who runs the show apologized to me. Anyone so, apologize to the wife? <laughs> uh, I think that guy did. I think the, the husband ended up apologizing. And Good move. Damn well should have. Yeah. Good move. And so, and it really all because these guys playing a video, which was Michael sort of like, Jordan, just some some YouTube video. Yeah, it just felt like he was like, you know, maybe he wa- maybe he wanted me to ask him more questions. Maybe he had some sort of a snarky line queued yeah. up. But I was just yeah, done with the, the whole. Who the fuck cares what yeah. he has lined up? <laughs> He's not on it. stage with a microphone. I was just done with it and. Uh, <laughs> So that was that was like, that was because that that guy really liked me, and yeah. and, and that made me. Um, I, I forgot, you know, talking to you guys has helped me because there's a joke I was working on. It's not the most original joke, but that experience made me think of a joke, and I don't know if I'll ever work on it. But like, like when I say we Americans, like born and raised, you know, especially like Chicago, New York, what what city? Where are you from? Louisville, Kentucky. Louisville, Kentucky, probably Louisville too. Like. We understand, like, a curse and what it means and to put it in its bright context, you know? But I feel like some foreigners, when it, whenever they teach them curses, I don't know what they teach them it means. <laughs> right. But they fucking, they get so, like, in New York, it's like, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah. you just, 
Okay, that's it. We just both walk away. See you after work, mom. Yeah, right. right, right. <laughs> but if you say fuck you to like the wrong uh, like foreigner, it's like fuck me. It's go time. No. Yeah. And like, <laughs> what, buddy? What do you think this means? Like, look, I, I think someone didn't teach you what this word yeah. means. That could mean a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I, I, it wasn't until I was in my early thirties that I learned referencing a black man's mother. In an right, argument is right. completely different from a referencing idea. a white guy's mother. It's a similar thing. You're absolutely right, and it's just sort of like, you're like, wait, what just happened? This this, this, <laughs> yeah. this thing just went up it a escalated. few notches. Yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't have hands around my throat before I said that. <laughs> huh. I wonder. We've all learned a lot so far. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, the first time I said "fuck you," I did Conan. So I mean, you know, it, there, yeah. there you go. <laughs> <laughs> This could be the bump your career really needs. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah. kick things in high gear. Yeah. You want to talk about dying to kill? Oh, yeah. You, you know, um, so me and Koji wanted to do a movie that, um, you know, we like could do for a certain budget. And we kicked around a bunch of ideas. Since I'm a comedian, um, we this dying to kill is basically, I could describe it like Saw meets the king of comedy. Oh, man. Yeah. So I play a, um, I play a stand-up comic who's... Um, had better days, a bit hacky at this point, just always going the easy way out, and um, ends up getting um, kidnapped by his number one fan, who uh, wants him to like just not suck anymore. <laughs> and so to inspire him to not suck, he um, kind of tortures him because he says, get, I need you to get to that former, your former self, and and if not, I'm going to hurt this person. Then if that doesn't work, I'm going to hurt this person. If that doesn't work, I'm going to hurt this person. And so it's um, it's sort of a, a study of of the human psyche, of the artistic process, and all of that jazz. And um, and there's a twist at the end too. And I, um, I believe it was on Hulu for a while, but I believe right now it's currently available on Amazon. It sounds like Amazon the potluck product. at the comedy store. Yeah, right, right, <laughs> yes. And it's um. You know, it's interesting. It's I really like it, uh, it's just, but it also takes place in one one location. That was another yeah. thing, and um, yeah, it's, it's just it's a cool idea. Yeah, and this guy just goes through it, just <laughs> you know. And um, shout out to some people in yeah. that movie that made some good cameos. Redder, Redder's in it. Randall Park is in it. So, um, gee, just, couldn't you the, get anybody? <laughs> just the Star <laughs> Brothers. Yeah, they 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 looked out. It was good. That's awesome. And Matt Eisman is in it as well. And you've got a book out called Hot Chocolate for the Mind. Yeah, that's a book I put out on Kindle. And uh, I, I started a blog like 10, 15 years ago. And so the, the book is basically a collection of um, funny essays and stories and things like that. And the name, obviously, is a play on Chicken Soup. Um, I just think when I, when, as I read through the blogs and the, the stories, it just felt like I was um, more... Not trying to pull your heartstrings, but tickle your mind a bit. So that's how it became hot chocolate for the mind. Stealth inspirational speaking. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, exactly. And that's on Amazon. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's available on Kindle. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. You're you're an author. You're like a yeah, yeah. You're a Renaissance uh, an man. auteur. Yeah, I mean that's different because it's like basically I wrote it over ten, a ten year period. But Koji and I, who did. Dying to Kill, and shout out to Koji. He has a, a, also a movie called People I've Slept With. He wrote a book called Romeo and Juliet vs. Zombies. And um, he and I wrote a book called The Zombie Run, which we're um, you know, trying to you know, get out there and make into a, maybe a, a TV show. Basically, it starts with uh, one of these 5K zombies, right. except real zombies show up. And then... <laughs> and then wackiness ensues. Yeah, wackiness ensues. We talk about what happens after... The zombies have won, and now a few humans try to, you know, make their way, and so and they're runners. <laughs> yes, yeah, right. <laughs> well, that's great. So yeah, I mean, you know, so, some I forget certain things to plug because it's sort of like I'm always the next thing, the next, mm-hmm. thing, the next thing, you know. So that's doable. And you've got a podcast. Yes, yeah, called Movie Night, and uh, we'd love to have you guys on at some point. Yeah. Right. On. Um, Thank you. We. Um, we just have you watch a movie and then we, we talk about it. Yes. But what movies have you done recently? Yeah, what are the criteria? Uh, we just so we, we usually do movies that are out of theaters already, but every now and then we'll do a movie in a theater. So we did Solo recently. Mm-hmm. I think that'll come out on Monday. We um, 
we did a social network that's been out for a while. Um, what else did we do? We did we did uh, Beverly Hills Cop. So we do some wide range. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. On. Yeah. Did anyone mention the fact that in Solo, Warwick Davis is in it and has one line? What's up with that? Which which part is that? Uh, he's he's you know little Warwick Davis Willow. Oh, uh, at yeah, the yeah. very end, he's like, yeah, I got all that stuff loaded up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what his day rate is, but holy crap. I guess something got must have got cut. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know. Absolutely right. I I, I liked it more than my co host and our mm-hmm. guest. I liked it more than they they did. So no, I, I honestly haven't seen it, but I I'm not gonna like, oh spoiler alert for right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, you know, it's it having seen the first Star Wars when, you know, and I was a kid and impressionable and everything. Right. I am constantly amazed by the anger in our generation you know and it's i i remember uh i i don't want to name names because it's kind of insulting but you know a couple of years ago uh seeing van halen at the staples center and running into a couple of comedian friends on the subway platform uh-huh. and one was like oh, my childhood was just raped oh boy <laughs> and, you know and there's like so much hatred for the for the star wars movies and i think uh, some some of them are good Right, Some right. of them are crap. Let's you just, know, but, everybody uh, just keep it in perspective, all right? Yeah. At end of the day, <laughs> they're just movies. <laughs> and more than likely, whatever you think of your childhood, it probably the thing wasn't as good as you thought it was yeah. as opposed yeah, to the new thing being so your bad. childhood in general, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Like Ghostbusters, like people lost their shit yeah. about the female version. And it's like, look at the original Ghostbusters. It's not... Like constant laugh out loud funny. No. I mean, it's just a great movie. You got Bill Murray. It's fun, but it's come on. It's not a knee is, slapper. Is this the hill you're going to die on? Yeah, is right. This really, right. this is right. okay. All right, well, good, guys. I good. think we'll uh, busting must make you feel good. I think we'll wrap it up unless there's anything else I'm missing. No, I think we got most of it. Um, take note is the, is the main thing. Take you know? note is the Netflix special. Oh, look who it is. Carl Kozlowski. Carl Kozlowski. <laughs> wrap up. We're wrapping up. Oh. <laughs> I was just about to go through his credits and say goodbye. It's, <laughs> you, you just did the Derek Smalls getting That's out of so the uh, pod on stage yeah, awesome. right as the song ended. <laughs> so, folks. But, uh, uh, well, uh, real quick, uh, do you have any uh, shows coming up? Locally uh, or sure, anywhere sure. that... Do, uh, do we know when this comes out? Uh, this will probably be posted post tomorrow, past. Monday at the latest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I'm at the Laugh Factory uh, June 30th in Long Beach. Oh, no, no, Hollywood. The Hollywood Laugh Factory. Um, uh, not June 30th. What the hell is wrong with me? June 9th. What's today? Uh, today. I don't know. That is today. No, June 15th. I'm at the Hollywood... <laughs> June fifteenth. Like, oh Hollywood, shit! I gotta go. Hollywood Folks, Laugh Factory. Just show up every night at the Laugh Factory and you'll see Dwayne Perkins. <laughs> June fifteenth. I'm at the Hollywood Laugh Factory and June twenty first, the Long Beach Laugh Great. Factory. Check yes. out Hot Chocolate for the Mind on uh, Amazon Kindle. Yes, yes. Uh, check out the podcast Movie Night. Check out Dwayne Perkins. Take note on Netflix while you can. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, well, and keep checking out this show. Oh, oh man, our that's show. Awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please that's continue just... to listen to our show. Uh, oh, man, that's awful. You've been awfuled. Our guest, <laughs> Dwayne Perkins, Dave Robinson. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure, Kevin Mr. Corcoran. Kevin Corcoran. And there's Carl over there. Say bye, Carl. Bye. <laughs> thanks, bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. <laughs>